Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and today we're answering your questions about the use of baby aspirin after heart valve replacement surgery. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Mark Gerdish, who's the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, Indiana. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Gerdish has performed over 6,000 cardiac procedures, of which more than 4,000 involve some form of heart valve repair or heart valve replacement. Dr. Gerdish, thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Adam. Always a pleasure. Yeah, so this question comes in from Duncan, but I've gotten several questions about this specific topic of baby aspirin. And Duncan asks, Adam, I had an aortic cow valve replacement and single bypass. I was immediately put on a baby aspirin after surgery. Now I'm reading reports that bleeding risks from baby aspirin may be more significant than potential cardiac issues. I bleed easily. What is the latest recommendation specific to the use of baby aspirin for patients with tissue valves? One of the things I love about the community at heart valve surgery is that they read, they try to learn, they assimilate new information, and this is a really good question. So there's recent data that has come out and pretty robust data advising against baby aspirin for prevention. So that means someone who does not have a diagnosis of vascular disease, someone who has not had their valve replaced, someone who has not had coronary bypass surgery. Those patients, those people should not be taking a baby aspirin every day because when we look at thousands of patients like that, the risk of bleeding outweighs whatever potential benefit there is for somebody who doesn't have a diagnosis of one of those disorders. On the other hand, being on a low dose aspirin after a valve replacement and or after a coronary bypass surgery is a different scenario and clearly has benefit. So now you'd want to stop it if, for example, you developed gastrointestinal bleeding or you had a reason that you couldn't be on it, you're allergic to it, you have a low platelet count, there's something that endangers you specifically when you take aspirin. But if you do not have one of those specific concerns, clearly the benefits outweigh the risks. So I hope that makes sense. It's a treatment and people think of it, well, it's just a baby aspirin. It's a small treat, but it's a treatment. And it's for a spe these specific disorders of vascular disease or having had your valve replaced with a tissue valve, et cetera. So it minimizes thrombosis and therefore it's better for folks who have those conditions to be on that baby aspirin. Duncan, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me learn more about the use of baby aspirin for folks with cardiac conditions. And Dr. Gerdish, as always, thanks for bringing this research and insight to our community. On behalf of all the patients here, thanks so much for your time today. Oh, thank you so much. Really glad to be here. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.